right, let's talk about this weather. Your first alert forecast tonight. Lonnie Quinn is here now. Another gorgeous one today, but it's kind of coming to an You're right. We're, we're moving down the hill as we push towards the weekend. Right now, it's still just great outside. It's been a glorious day. Currently, you're coming in with a temperature of 68. There it is, 68 degrees. Mostly clear skies. When you take a look at the Almanac, you maxed out today at 83. So you should be 69. That's your average for this time of the year. Nope. You're 14 degrees above that. You're not going to be 83 tomorrow. It'll be more like 73, 74, maybe 75. We'll go 75 in the city. So cooler out there, but you're still doing okay with sunshine. It's just not going to be as pretty a day as you had today. I mean, last few days, it's been tough to find a cloud in the sky. You'll see more clouds as you push through your day tomorrow. And then by the time you get into Friday, we are looking at a bit of a rain chance. Saturday, I think, is the more likely day for rain. So in the morning, there could be a little bit of patchy fog out there. Otherwise, for your Thursday and your Friday, Cooler temperatures, but it's not dramatic, right? I mean, you're 74, 75 degrees tomorrow. The rain that we're watching is on track still for Saturday. Looks like most of the people in our area are going to see a half an inch to maybe an inch of rain. We can handle that. But the models are not in agreement. We have some models that say, hey, it's going to basically split our area, and we don't get much at all. All right. Then I have other models that show no isolated areas will be picking up more than others. So let's take you through everything. We'll try to give you a, a nice idea of what's going to be happening. Clear skies right now with that high pressure. It's all about how this front, okay, around Minneapolis and Omaha is going to be interacting with this tropical system. That's Philippe, north of Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico's right there. All right. You put it into motion, you're going to watch that we go through the overnight hours and we are just fine, <laughs> except my clicker. There we go. You go through the overnight hours, you're just fine. In the morning, maybe a few more clouds and a little bit of fog, and then you get to Friday. This is Friday morning. All right, more clouds for sure on Friday. I don't think tomorrow's a terrible day. I don't. I just don't think it's as pretty as today. Now, there's a bit of a rain chance that develops on Friday. And right over the city, this is showing, you know, a number of waves coming right over. Look at this. This also travels right over the area. Meanwhile, the front coming through the area from the west kind of pushes north only grazes us, and that tropical system stays off to the east, so a lot of folks don't see much rain at all. That model right there would suggest that New York City could see the big number because we see those waves of heavy rain moving through, maybe 2.3 inches. Everybody else, I mean, clearly under an inch of rain. So do you pin your, your, your whole forecast on the fact that, hey, one model is saying it's coming right over the city? No, the European is saying that area of heavier rain would be Bridgeport over to Brentwood. And then there's another model, the NAM is suggesting, no, it's west of the area, like around Binghamton. Monticello might see 1.3, New York City sees 0.7. Uh, I think you should be planning on some rain for Saturday. Uh, I think the possibility of the big numbers is lower than the half inch to an inch range. But again, rain in the forecast for Saturday, not for Sunday. Sunday is when you tap into the cooler air. 60 on Sunday, and by Monday afternoon, it's the upper 50. So we keep saying, oh, that feels like fall. That's cold. That it does. This time of the year. It's going to be like that to the face. Wake you up. Wake you up. Thank you, Lonnie.